BookBolt has brought out three new puzzles in their pro account and in this video I'm actually going to show you these different puzzles but I'm also going to give you the opportunity to win one month free pro account to go out and check it out and to actually be creating some books that you can be uploading to KDP whether they're activity books or puzzle books using the whole of BookBolt's tools. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creator Beat and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP low content books and it's with new training every week so be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below to be notified about any other new videos I make. So inside of BookBall you would actually see all these different research tools that you can be using. I've already created a number of different videos showing you all these tools. They'll be in the top right hand corner or down in the description. So if you have got an account for BookBall then what you can do is be following along. If you haven't you can also get a free day trial to go and check it out. So if you just have a look at this here you can get three three days trial with pro or yearly pro also I do have a 20% discount coupon code called dream creator b again that will be down in the description and once you register you can put your coupon code there yes you do need a credit card to be taking part again you can always cancel at any time so let's go back and we are inside puzzle whiz and you also get all different instructions showing you how to use these tools and showing you all the different things that can be done. So in here is the three new ones, which is Nakeba. I apologize if I'm saying that incorrectly. It's a Japanese puzzle. Then there's Hangman and Mind Finder. So if you go into this one here, all you need to do is actually set out what font you need, what size you want, whether you want it double sided, and then you can include the solutions and match puzzle solution pages or put page numbers there. Now, this is a pocket size. Now, some people, when they start these puzzle books, don't ha know how to actually do them. So what you can do to make it more niche and make it more unique is actually go and find out what how to do the puzzles and then rewrite it in your own words. So you can follow along on a YouTube video. But again, you must rewrite it into your own words. OK, so what you can do is change the font here. And I'm going for that one. And then this is a true pocket size or travel size that people like to take around with them when they're doing puzzles. And again, you can include the solutions. And if all you're doing is just this book all about these puzzles here, I would say match puzzle and solution. But if you wanted to do a mix and match, I would not do that at all because, well, you could do it and then just crop them away. So all you need to do is put how many puzzles you want to do and click submit and then it spits it out as a PDF and it actually tells you when it's ready and there it is and because it wasn't such a big document it's done it really quickly. So these are the new puzzles and then what we would do is you would colour say that square there, that one's already coloured but you need three more of those so you might go or two more of those, you might do that. So they're not crossing. So that's how that puzzle sort of works. So let's move on to the other new one, which is Hangman. Now here, what you can do is you can download an example file. And what happens is you can open it in Excel. Or you can create CSV files in Excel. And then what you need to do is then just type out like it shows you the example. Now here there's six puzzles and I know that because there's an empty row in between each puzzle. And then make sure that when you are saving it or exporting it, you need to save as a CSV file like you can see there. So I'm gonna show you an example of how it looks. So what you need to do is again, set your bleed, set your page size so if you want to keep it as a pocket size or as a six by nine or eight and a half again change it by the double size now because there's six puzzles there i'm going to put six there and then again i'm going to change my font to what i want i'm going to actually take that off but i'm going to include the solutions and again i'm not going to put <coughs> the um 
match puzzles because I can be creating a activity book that's got all sorts of different things in. So that goes off and does its thing. And then it should refresh. And here we are. So this has created a pocket size of five by eight. If you're doing all activity books, then I'd change it to eight and a half. Now, sometimes what you need to do is you need to convert these to um, JPEGs or PNGs and put them in Canva or you can use Photopea or Affinity to go and change and add different things to them. Now, I've created a vi previous video showing you how to actually do that using Photopea and that'll be in the top right hand corner. Now, the, the last puzzle that we've got is MindFinder which is one of the new ones. Again, all you need to do is set the size that you want to do, how many puzzles. So say we want to do five again. Again, change our fonts. And yes, we definitely want to include the solutions. And again, there's our mind find again you need to be giving instructions on how to actually play these games because there's a lot of people don't actually know how to find them the last time i remember playing mind finder it was on an old windows 3 machine so that's a long time ago and then what you can do as well if you have got images that you've got say from creative fabrica like these you can actually be removing the inside colors so that it only gives you the outline now it does struggle with things like this one where it's virtually all one color but like this one it actually does change them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick a file select that one select that one open and then suddenly and i should have done it as eight and a half so the only problem with it is it does come as a pdf so what you can do is you can go to small PDF and you can convert that PDF to a JPEG. You have a limited use on the free account for how many you can actually do. But it does actually split out images that are, well, let me just open that, 300 DPI. So if we go in there, Windows, Tools Inspector, you can see it's 300 DPI. Now PDF to P PNG also does it, but it knocks it down to 200 DPI. So you need to just check. But if you want to be using different images, Photopea, Affinity, uh, Designer, Photoshop, all of those open PDFs straight away. So there's no problem, but it's only if you wanted to use it in PowerPoint or in Canva, you would need to convert. But again, if you don't want to do it like that. You can do it in Photopea. And I've got a video that shows you exactly how to do it. So those are the three new ones. You can also do create the dot, connect the dots where all you do is you pick a file again. So we'll just select that one. And all you would do is just start doing dots going around. Oh, I'll probably move into there so you can actually see. Oop, getting a bit carried away. I'm just moving. So every time you do is you just click on that. And that's how you make a dot to dot with this software. Now, what I told you at the beginning of this video was how you can actually win one month free. Now, all you need to do is actually make a comment in the comment section saying, I want one month free. And then on the 30th of July, all I'll do is I'll do a live broadcast where I'll get all the names together and then I'll put it through a spinner competition thing. And then whatever name comes along will be the winner of that one month free pro account. So then what I'll do is I'll give you a contact detail so that you can claim your price. Now, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to hit the little subscribe button with the B. Also, while you're here, don't forget to check out the other book bulk videos that I have created. 
on how to actually use Book Vault to do research and another one where I showed you how to actually create some activity books using the Pro account with Puzzle Wiz.